Hi everybody, so I just want to give you a run through of the scent events that I'm offering now. Um, they're done by my laser cutter. I was after some parts recently and for a build of my own personal build and I was quite surprised by some of the standard parts that were difficult to find. So I went to my laser cutters and they still had the files so I got them to produce some parts which they were prepared to mass produce. They would come flat pack like this, just the aluminium here that you see here. That's what comes in your kit. These are pre-folded. Now, because of the folding machine, I don't know if you can catch that on the camera, but there is a folding line which you cannot avoid. So there is a line on these. They will come like that more than likely, but quite easily you can just buff it and the line will disappear. It's not an indent. It is just a mark. So I didn't do the inner because you don't really see that, but I did just do the face. And what I did, you can use the, the green Brillo pad type stuff or I use this 3M fine, you can get that in super fine as well. I just use this and just to buff it out. So that gets rid of your line. So I'm now not gonna cut this. I may fast forward it because it's a bit boring to watch, but I'm gonna now dry fit these vents just to show you how they go together. Um, it might be an idea to, to clean these up. I haven't done, but um, there may be a few burrs and you may need to clean these slots so these can slide in nice and easy. Uh, and also just maybe deeper these as well just give them a dust over again either with the sandpaper just doing the edges or you can use a file if there's any nasty burrs on there but they should be quite clean so i've stacked them in the order they go in you have four the same and then you have the bottom one here the bottom one's quite easy to spot because it's got a smaller slot at the bottom here and then the other four go there and then all that happens you may need to clean these holes up but once that's done they go in like so there we go, so that's nice and flush. And then you can just glue the back there. So I'm just gonna hold it all together and let's see how easy this goes together. There you go. So that's that done. Um, a little bit fiddly, but not too bad. And then what I do is I just get some masking tape just to hold it together. And I just tape across the face here. Try and keep them nice and square. There you go. So that's that. Now then, we're gonna try and prove that this fits in there. It's a very tight fit. Which is a good thing. There we go. So that is in like so. That sits flush on the back and there's your vent. So once you know that fits, you know that's okay, it's time to glue it. So I would remove it from the vent. Well, actually no, you can, you can leave it in the vent if you wish. Might be an idea. And then what I would do is glue the rear tabs in. So make sure it's all home. And the four tabs here, so you know that it's all square, it can't, it can't move anywhere. Hold it in place. And then with your two part glue, I use Dev Weld. Um, you can get nozzles for these, so you just squeeze the gun and it mixes it for you. But I'm just mixing it on my, my workbench. So I'm not gonna do this now because this is a reference piece for the laser cutter so you can get all the folds correct. But then you mix the glue, put some dabs in there, and then when dry, carefully take this out. Try and keep it all square. That has moved, you see, so hopefully this will stay right. You can eyeball it as well, just in case it does move slightly. And then what you can do then, is you can just run glue all the way down here on these tabs to hide them. Now, just make sure you don't get it too close to the edge here. But once these are all glued in, again, with your two part glue, then they will not come out and it will keep everything stable. You could glue it to the back plate as well. Just run a, a bead along the back of this angled section onto the back plate and the same there as well. And then once it's dry, take your masking tape off. Just 
and then obviously this isn't glued but then once that's done you should have that and you'll be able to just slide this over now if it's still a tight fit if this is moved slightly you can get your files and just take these just concentrate on these edges here top and bottom and that should sort it out you can just see on here actually i don't know if the camera catches that but they are slightly catching now i haven't cleaned this print up so this could probably do with a bit of clean up inside anyway to make it a better fit as well um but no so that's it so that's that's the small event done now this one i find a little bit easier again deburr and clean it up a bit these are your side pieces so they go like let me just work this out like so so that's your left one and that's your right one Okay, so they go there, and then your back plates, you, there's a slight tag there, and two tags there. They locate the larger tag in the back plate, and these two tags sit on these side pieces that I've just installed. So I'll now put all of these onto the back plate. There you go, so that's a nice fit. So once that's done, um, you can then install, because this, these keep it nice and square, once these are all home and pushed flat to the back plate, you can then glue these tags in place, again with the same glue, that's probably the best thing to do. So you, you glue them in and then you won't have this problem. There you go, so that's your top, they're slanted upwards to the back. And then once this is all glued, just be mindful of, of where these go because um, these can cover some of your glue points. So you can glue along some of the outside edges here because this will cover it up. And then what we do here, there are some locating slots that go beyond these plates here. And this will locate in to the slots. And they go in this order that you see here. So I do them, I'm going to do them from bottom to top. There's a reason for that, which you'll see in a minute. So this is the bottom part. This one is your second up part. Next part. Okay, so we pause there. We leave this till the very last once everything else is glued together, because this is a bit, bit of an awkward one to do. So there's that done here. You can't get this out of line really. Um, it, it's, it stays square. So when you test it in your vent surround, if it doesn't quite fit, then again, just try and see what's marking the inside of your vent surround and just carefully tease some edges off. Don't go mad, but um, once you've glued it, then you can just make sure you just hold the part while you sand away at it or file away at it. Because if you go too hard, it will pop off and you have to re-glue. No, not the end of the world, but just, just makes life a bit easier. So the, that's glued all together. And once that's done, you can again, you can glue behind these pieces, which you don't see. And you can glue under here. Maybe put some masking tape across the top part to hold these in place. And if you glue into this under piece here, if there's masking tape on the other side, then the glue won't ooze through and uh, register for when you look at it to the front. The masking tape will stop it pushing through. It will give you a nice clean seal. And then once that's done, you then get this piece, and this is quite awkward because there's no slots to locate it in. Um, these, these sit all flush here, once they're located in the points. And this one literally sits on the top like that. Now, what I usually do, and I will do it now just to show you, I'll turn that around. Again, a bit of masking tape, and just 
place it on there like so. Then get your position. And what I do, you've just got to make sure that the, the edge of the bottom edge of this piece is the same as these pieces in relation to where it sits. Which is pretty much flush really. Keep it square, bit of a faff. Because it's not glued together, it's making it even harder for me. But basically, that's what you do. And then you can go the other side. Everything's going to be more stable than what I've got here. And then you can glue underneath. And then you have yourself another vent. Job done. And what I'll do, I'll just show you, is one I prepared earlier. Now this was a, this is an old one I've had, um, and it was actually glued together with JB Weld, which again does the job perfectly well. Um, it's not actually glued in the back. This does come off. But what I did here, you can see, just it's quite a bit messy, but you don't see it. Don't see it from the front, and you just glue under all these. And I'm not sure if the camera can get in there, but I've glued all around here as well because this is quite um, fragile. This piece, so you want to try and hide as much glue as you can to hold that in place. And then there you go, that's the finished vent. Thanks for watching.